Today is a super big day that Milo has been waiting for for a long time. What are we doing today, Milo? We're building my new Roland. That's right. This is the first step in building Milo's jump line, and we're gonna put this right next to the big jumps. What were you looking for in your jumps, Milo? Hips and just bigger jumps than before. For this jump line, we're trying to build something in between the jump track and the small jumps that we've got over here and the big jumps that I ride. So we're gonna build a medium-sized jump line and we're gonna put it right next to my jumps so that this is a learning block to go from the pump track and the smaller jumps up to the big jumps eventually. This is gonna be a massive build, Milo. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's get started. So the big jumps roll in starts up there at the top. We're gonna to put the kids roll in at about the halfway point. So it's gonna be about a seven or eight foot tall roll in. So to get this project started, I'm gonna clean out this mess and I'm gonna take stock of what would I have to work with right now and see if I can build this from everything I have around the house. We got it all cleaned out. Now we need to find our columns for this roll in. The roll in's gonna be about seven feet tall. We're also gonna to need to sink these columns into the ground and then hopefully we'll have them long enough so that they can be the railing on the top too for the guardrail. So how long does that need to be, Owen? Two or three hours. <laughs> hours? I'm talking about feet. Oh, feet. I don't know. Ten? Well, seven plus one into the ground Eight. plus three above that. Eleven. Yeah, so we're looking for around ideally maybe 12 feet and then we can cut them if they're too long. These are the supports we're gonna use. They are about 12 feet long, so it should be long enough to go into the ground, support the deck, and then be high enough for railing as well. Before we put this into the ground, I need to take all the bark off of it with this draw knife. This has a blade on one side. You just pull back with it like this and it takes the bark off. And the reason I'm doing that is so that moisture doesn't get behind the bark and cause the log to rot. Yeah, so you get that right angle and then you pull downwards. Regular knives always cut away from yourself, but a draw knife, you actually pull it towards yourself, but you still have to be careful to not get cut. We got our tool station set up. Thanks for that, Milo. This is everything we'll need for the project, I hope. So we need to measure out exactly where the roll-in will go, dig the holes, and we'll get the framework in place. This is the part of the build that takes forever. When you're doing all the thinking, and trust me, I've done days and days of thinking before this of where I'm gonna put it, how I'm gonna put it in, but it's super important right now to think three times before you build once. So what I've got up so far is the back ledger, which I'm tying in to the current supports. And then I put in my side ledger here. And I really have to make sure that everything's square. And when I'm putting in the side ones, I'm actually putting an inch of drop in there so that when it rains, it'll drain off of it and not just sit on the kids' rollings. We got everything in place where it needs to be. Now I'm gonna pour some concrete in these holes so it's all permanent and locked down. What do you have to, Milo? I'm drawing my name in there. Yeah, you kind of have to do that when you make concrete, right? Yeah. Especially when it's the rolling for you guys. Yeah. You want to write your name too? Yeah. All the supports are in, everything's shored up. Now it's time to put in the floor joists. When you're using these hangers, I know that it comes with these things built in, which you can tack into place, put your screws in and hang everything. I found it's just as quick and easy to use a little scrap piece of wood, put it in here like this, and then we'll just go ahead and use a screw. And I can do that, and then it's exactly where it needs to be, and I can drop the two by six right in. We're making progress, and the kids are climbing around on this thing like monkeys. It's pretty big. So far, so good? Yeah. I love hanging out here. Should we sheet it now? Yeah. yeah. Time to put some sheeting on this thing. How's it going, Milo? Good. You stoked on the roll-in? Yeah. I see that uh, the square says it's named. It says Mary. Why do you think that is? <laughs> What's the name below it? Swanson. Who's Mary Swanson? It starts with an S. So swim, swami, sl slippy, slappy, swimming, salmon, 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 swan, swanson, swanson? Dad makes That's dumb really jokes hard. all the time, right? Dumb dad jokes. What do you think about dad jokes, Ellen? Yeah. It's pretty funny. You got any jokes? Mm, guess what sucks about being tall? What? Nothing. <laughs> That's a classic Kelly joke. Mm -hmm. Got the first sheet cut. Now we're gonna tack it in, snap a chalk line on the rest of these so we can make sure we hit the floor joists as we screw it all down. So I used three quarter inch plywood for this so it's nice and sturdy and stable. 
boom track locker. Do you want to learn another trick? Sure. Okay, so you know how you're having trouble getting it started? Yeah. What you can do is put the screw in the gun and put it vertical there. Now hit the top of it with the heel of your hand. Now push down on it and go. Does that work better? Yeah, way better. Let's try it again on the next one. Let's put it straight up and down, smack it. There you go. That breaks through the first part of the wood. So you want to go fast at the beginning and then slow down towards the end so that you can not go too deep, okay? There you go. That was fast. There you go. You know why that makes those ratcheting noises like that? That sounds like it's stripping out? No. So that's a, called an impact driver. And the way that it works is it hits it a bunch of little times quick, like pop, 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 pop. And so it drives it in without having the whole force of like a regular drill just pulling on you. That's why those are so easy to use. Oh, okay. Yeah, so an impact driver is different than a drill. I'm up here on the rolling with Milo. We got the first sheet down. We're gonna put a strip in right here. And then we're gonna put a strip in against the wall. So two strips. And then we're gonna also have to cut out for this column right here. We're working in inches here. Cause it's US, cause we're an American, that's what we do. Metrics better, but that's another story. Yeah, so two lines means inches. So one line, like I wrote right there, means a foot, so that's two feet. And then 65 and three quarter inches. You're gonna be a carpenter in no time. You're gonna be a chippy. That's what they call them in New Zealand, right? Chippy? You'll be a chippy. That's a carpenter. <laughs> nice work, chippy. What do you think, Owen? I think it's cool, but I don't get it. You'll get it. Okay, let's go down and cut it. So take this with you as you climb down the ladder. Watch your step, buddy. Yep, that's where chippies keep their pencils, right? Lots of cool stuff to learn as a kid building a ramp that you'll use for the rest of your life. We're turning this into this. So we're translating our measurements onto the big board that we're gonna cut. Yeah, so you see how Milo marked with a V right there? That's how you know where the line is, because if you just do a dash, you're not gonna know which part of the line, but if you do a V, you can hit the middle of it and you know exactly what you were supposed to be marking. Now, Owen, you pick it up and snap it. There you go. Okay. This is called a speed square. See all those measurements on it? Yeah. You can do tons of math with this to make angles. Then draw a line across the bottom. How deep do we go? Six inches. If you put it at an angle, see how this is flat? Yeah. So if you put it at an angle like that, you can draw right up against your edge. I will do the cutting, because that's a circular saw. That's a bad machine. Owen, what do you call this thing? Um, the death cutter. That's the death cutter? Yeah. That's a good name for it. I call it the death machine. <laughs> Milo calls it the death machine. Either way, that thing will cut your finger off faster than you can say death machine. Nice work. Thanks. All right, decking's completed. We're moving along pretty good, but we're fighting daylight now. So we've got all the decking down. We're gonna try and get the top rail of the handrail done tonight so that it's safe to be up here. And then we'll get the actual roll-in part done tomorrow. And then we should be able to test it out. <laughs> there you go. So I cut this at a 45 so I can meet him up at the top of the post there. What are you doing, Owen? Trying to bunny hop on the ladder. Let's see it. Yep, that's a ladder bunny hop. We're getting pretty far along. Now we need to put the ramp down. So I've got two by tens for that. We're gonna have to find the right angle, cut the two by tens and drop them into those hangers. These hangers are meant to be used with a straight two by 10, but since I cut it at an angle, I'm gonna have to notch it out where I want it to be. This thing will meet up at the top and then when I sheet the plywood, it'll come in at a nice angle with the top sheeting. Okay, you guys ready to hang these? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna lift it up, we're gonna put them into place, and then I'll start screwing. Now we need to figure out the exact angle that these are going to hit the ground at and which direction they're gonna send us down the line so it's lined up exactly where it needs to go. Then we can hammer them in a little bit and 
I'll probably pound in a couple stakes that I can screw in to really hold them in place too. Then we'll put in a transition there. Now that we got the ramp angle set and everything's locked into place, we're putting transitions at the bottom. This is the same way that you build a lip with a radius transition, except we're putting them at the bottom of this ramp. So it'll be a nice smooth transition to the flat ground, and then we'll have the rollers after that. So we're putting these on the side, digging them in the ground, and then we gotta put ribs across, and then we can sheet the whole thing. Time to get the first sheet up. Perfect, Owen. Owen, you leaving them hanging. Owen. It's good to notch these things out so you can make the logs fit together nice. You like the leaf blower? Yeah. What do you think? Looks rideable. You want to leaf blow the top? Well, I can't leaf blow it. And then we'll get our stuff on. What's that tool called? The tornado blaster. <laughs> What do you think, Owen? This thing's done. I think it's awesome. I've been wanting to ride this and waiting until it's done for like three days. I know, it's a lot of work, isn't started. it? I've been yeah. wanting this for like two years now. Your very own roll-in. Roll-in. Not like dad's yours. big scary one, but one perfect for you guys. And not a teeny tiny small turtle one. Yeah, so Owen called out testing this first on the push bike. You ready for this? Yeah. I feel like I'm in a nitro circus, like for real. Because <laughs> you're getting ready to do a stunt? Yeah. You wanna go first on? Yay! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> what do you think about that, Milo? Uh, I think I can do it. Like this. Ready? Yeah. Wasn't too sketchy. That's fast. You think that's gonna get the speed you need for jumps? Yeah, that's way faster than I thought. I wish there were jumps after it. Well, there will be. So fun. Thanks for all the hard work. Yeah. <laughs> so Owen's a little nervous with this edge right here because he's never dropped in on something like that before. So Milo's filling him in on how to do it. So keep your cranks flat like this. Then follow me for the first time. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Owen? As Milo told me, half a crank and then put your pedal, pedals back flat before you drop in or else you'll hurt yourself. Yeah, because you don't want to hit your pedal on the top, on the yeah. corner of the roll-in. Just like that. Do you feel comfortable with this? Yeah. Okay. Pretty comfortable. Nice, Owen. That was scary. He hesitated for just a second at the top, but then he pulled it together and committed to it. And yeah, as long as you commit to it, it works out well. What do you think, Owen? Yeah, maybe I can turn a little bit more. That was a little scary. Like for a second you hesitated, right? Yeah. And then you pulled it together and you're like, I got this. Uh -huh. And you got your feet off. Mm -hmm. Nice work, buddy. Three bike max capacity, I'd say. Go for it. That's a true dirt jump chicken right there. Hey, nice work on this lip. So we got the roll-in built and you guys have tested that out and we got a little bit of dirt dumped into the zone where the landing's gonna be. What are you guys up to now? We decided to build a little jump. Yeah? So we could say goodbye to the dirt before we turn it into one huge landing. You having fun? Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. This roll-in turned out awesome. The kids love it. They're having a blast on it. I am too. I can't wait to finish the rest of the line. Hopefully you guys learned something. I know my kids learned a ton of carpentry stuff as we built this and stay tuned for the rest of the line. It's gonna be awesome.
gonna battle with the great brother of my family. <laughs> you and Milo are fighting, so you padded up with some bubble wrap? Yeah, 